Crazy. See you crazy. What's going, going on, on bro? Homie. I just had a very disturbing discussion with this 21 year old chick from New York. It was she, disturbing. She called, me out, she called me all type of bitches. And sh- this shit was funny. I'm glad I'm glad these things are recorded. This shit is funny as shit. Yeah, you always play it back. <laughs> yeah, this shit is classic. I'm gonna put that shit on my YouTube channel. What you got going on this morning, man? No, bro, I'm just up. Can't sleep because I've been up all week, staying up all night, so might as well just be What type up. of hat is that? Is that a snowman hat? That shit is funny as hell. Snowman what is that? beanie. <laughs> snowman beanie. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, man. So, yeah, uh, where you from, man? Florida, yeah, that's dog. Florida. Well, uh, what about yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Memphis, Tennessee, man. Memphis. Nice weather in Florida. Nice weather in Florida. It's like 40 somewhere where I'm at. It was 33 last Every night. Every time I hear Memphis, I think of dancing. <laughs> we don't dance it like that. Not no more, anyway. Yeah, back in the day. You don't nobody know about the, no the gangster walk. Yeah, don't nobody jip no more. Not in 2020. Bruh, you think? Trust me, bro. I actually have a couple friends out there that they still jip. Yeah, joking is nice. Movement. The young generation, they, they don't they don't really take pride in it. Too. It's kind of like the New York people like, don't take pride. It's not the same as Nah, not at all. Yeah. So how old are you, man? 25. How old are you? Uh, adult. 38. Young guy, man. Got any kids? Man, I got six kids, bro. You got six? Oh, man. Six, each by a different baby mama. Goodness gracious, bro! I, my condolences, man. How you? How you holding up? They keep it real. How you holding up in there, man? Oh man, excellent, man. He said excellent. Goodness excellent. God is good, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. I had no kids. I, I want some like kids, that, but maybe at thirty. I'm twenty-five right now, so. Maybe at 30. Yeah, ain't no wrong with that, man. Wait to take your time, man. She's crazy. Yeah, I got right? to, because I want to be the, the one to break, you know, the generational curse as far as, like, change things. Like, I want to have a kid when I'm, it sounds cliche, but, you know, when I'm doing well. Because, actually, you know, I want them to live better than me or my dad or the people before me. And I think that's definitely... That's a part of it. That's real shit. That's real talk, yeah, man. You want to make sure you're at least financially stable. And oh. I mean, you know, because I, I'm way, I waited too late to think about, oh, I want to start me a business and I want to do this, I want to do that. And my son's 15 now. So I'm kind of like rushing my way to like leave Memphis and move to another state, start me a company in the next two or three years before he graduated. Too busy thinking about, but I should have been doing that shit 15, 20 years ago. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, if you, I don't think it's never too late, bro. Exactly. It could be, but you already got out in your mind right now, so if you really yeah, want to do it, huh? Yeah, I'll be gone in the next couple of months. I've been on uh, the whole year. Uh, this COVID thing kind of held everything up, but it took me about. Yeah. Mm, eight months to get my license to carry in another state. Flew about three times and finally got shit done. So, Word. How does that work? Like, are people people are allowed to travel, you know, protected? I, I never had uh, a conversation about that before. It's like a process. Or... Truth, truth be told, when I jumped on a plane back in uh, April, 
No, was it March or Mar March? When I jumped on the plane back in March, they weren't telling us to wear a mask. I jumped on the plane in May. You had to wear a mask on certain air flights. Delta didn't care, but American Airlines did. But you never had to wear a um, face mask in the airport. When I came back, I want to say July, had to have a mask on throughout the airport. On every flight, you had to wear a mask and all of this shit. So now everything is different. And it seems like now everything is more, more restrictions. Like I think That's they didn't wild put the, that you had no mask, so you were probably around people with COVID and then you didn't know it. Right. In the in the early stages, yeah. That's why I said this. When you came this out, all came. right. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. This shit, I, it's something. Something's funny with this shit because when you really think about it, is it really just wearing a mask that protects you if your eyes is uncovered and your hands, you don't wear your gloves or? But listen, you ever bro, been so if you, you ever have been somewhere and noticed that they got a mask on and don't have their nose covered and they try to tell you to make sure you yeah, got one on? Defeats the purpose. Exactly. It completely defeats the purpose, bro. Yeah, what you gonna say though? You gonna say something? Oh, I was gonna say that. That listen, like you could smell. Like I know it sounds nasty, but you could smell a fart outside of a mask. That should tell you something that you can breathe in other people's air as well uh-huh absolutely i say that as an example bro because i was in walmart with a mask and i walked by this guy bro it smelled like he just passed like a huge ass fart bro yeah. <laughs> it's nasty but it pre pretty much proved that you know you can breathe in other people's air with the, even with that mask on yeah nothing nothing really protects you but then, you know, I think it's some, it's some deep shit going on. I don't think it's simply from yeah. coughing on people. I just ain't buying that. It's I something think, deeper than that. I think it's a control thing, you know? It's like a it's obviously thing. It's obviously about control. Yeah, I don't want to go down the conspiracy hole, but, you know, common sense just kind of shows that it's almost like the beginning of something you know right like kind of yes. like conditioning you to exactly whatever, you know it's coming because you strike the fear in people so much because you know this is the argument i had with a, a girl on facebook and she was like y'all going to these parties and y'all not protecting yourself this day and the third so then i asked her like what do you think about the vaccine oh, i'm not taking them like if you're gonna believe the virus is real, then you better believe the virus being either removed or contained by them as well. You can't have it both ways. You can't just say, I believe this, but I'll deny that. Right. So you're, yeah. being, you're being a half ass conspiracy theorist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're gonna believe it, go all the way. Because I'm like, this is bullshit, and the vaccine is bullshit. I call it down. The vaccine really. is another thing, bro. That's another conditioning. Then people, oh, yeah. be, then they're gonna be like, "Oh, you need a COVID vaccine every year." You feel me? Like on some bullshit. Right, and they like stick you every year. They don't give you what the measles and the mumps and the, the, the flu shot and the, like this one. We had a flu shot and a pneumonia shot. So we got both. It used to be just a flu shot. Now it's a pneumonia and a flu shot. Another good point I have, bro, is um, fuck, I just forgot it. God damn it, it was a good one. It was a really, really good one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so you know how they have these graphs and case numbers of COVID, right? Yeah. So if you had a graph and case numbers of car accidents. Don't you think you're going to be, like, you feel me? Like, you're going to get the same effect if you're looking at the death rate of car accidents. Every, you're going to be, the cases are going to keep rising up because it's always happening. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? So, like, when you have that aspect of always watching cases of a certain thing, of course it's going to go up with something like, 
you know, an overdose or suicide or whatever it is, you know, they have graphs for those as well. And those rates are pretty high. Like, suicide rate is higher than ever, than it's ever been. And you know what they don't say? The news talking about it, like... Right, because what if this suicide rate is 500,000 people within a month? You don't hear them saying that. Right. Yeah, because that could be due to this pandemic. They won't. They don't want to say that. That's what I was getting at, bro. Like, like a lot of people's situations are different. You know what I mean? Like being stuck in a crib with, like, not saying this is my situation, but I'm sure there are people out there that are stuck in a crib with a toxic family or toxic husband or whatever the case may be, and they just can't take it. You know? Right. And their it life. Gets, it gets stressful. Especially you being in a house that you probably don't never really get along anyway. Now y'all forcing to get along. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I a said, lot of I said along. Going homeless, bro. Like in Florida where I'm at, every day I see a new homeless family, like homeless, because they got evicted. Damn. Yeah, it's wild. It's it's up, man. I ain't trying to help nobody. Uh, I said the United States is a joke, man, because Canada doesn't have this problem. Yeah, I've spoken to a couple people from Canada on here, and and people from other countries. It's like I'm not saying everyone, but like a big majority looks at the United States like we're like reckless. You know what I mean? Like we're reckless. Right. That's not a lot of. I was saying, uh, I was saying months and months back. I want to say back in May. I said, if these people are really dying at these massive numbers, then we should see random shit like a guy die at a red light, or people passing out in public, and then they dying of COVID. If you want me to believe two hundred thousand people today plus are dying, why are we seeing people die like randomly, like? literally faint pass out in public car accidents uh where l- people literally just you know lose control of the wheel and fall into you know come on man like we should see things like that it should be pandemonium of people dying like that if it's at two hundred thousand. Yeah. that's another but everybody too, you know like someone die of another cause that they put as covid That's fucked up because you're putting it, you're putting it toward numbers, and then you got these false positives, and they're still labeled as cases. I'm gonna keep it real, man. The whole quarantine, I felt like it was a tactic to get Trump out. Like as far as blaming him, and I definitely agree he could have, you know, gone about it a different way. But supposedly, from what we told, you know. Most of the world didn't know what the fuck was going on. I hey, you know, and you know, you, you, you know, know what we forget? What? We forget that this is supposed to have been came from a fucking bat in Wuhan. <laughs> nah, bro. But Why? You know how that is easily, <laughs> easily debunked? How? People have been eating bats for thousands and thousands of years. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. Like, so, and you know what I said? I said, if that's really a true story, then why aren't we doing something about that fucking nest in fucking Wuhan? Because I know it's a bad nest somewhere. Are we killing yeah, bats? Yeah, it's not we, just there, we... bro. The majority of Asian cultures have these things called wet markets. Where yeah. they have live animals and they cut it up for you, weigh it, sell it to you on the spot. Like, it's normal for them. So they always eat an animal, crazy animals. But now we're seeing right. COVID out of the thousands and thousands of years they've been eating these bats. I don't believe it. But, exactly. you know, animals do carry viruses. That's for sure. So. And I was going to say is that uh, if they want us to believe that this thing had a virus, that it is a strain of COVID, then you mean to tell me that it took one or two people eating something and then uh, millions of people. Like, come on, like, really? Is it nah. that simple? 
you'll just you only get some like really like vulnerable people with that one. The second I heard it, I'm like, the fuck. I remember when it first happened. I, I, I'm not gonna forget this story. They said that they had these people from San Antonio. They had these bodies. These people that were tested positive were shipped into San Antonio, and you never heard nothing else about that story. They literally it's funny how to there's San Antonio and they about, disappeared. Right? It's like they only want to show you what they want to show you and tell you what they want to tell you. Right. As far as the media, that's what I'm talking about. Because you can get the real information if you really want to do the information, like the research and stuff. The truth is, I don't know. The truth, the truth that the truth that I believe, and this is just a good idea of the COVID thing. I don't believe that it's passed by any any type of respiratory way. This Not shit breathing. could be it, it could be just the air we breathe and your immune system is either fighting it or it doesn't. Right. One of, That's what I believe. I, I think it's that something. What if they have like they have like a freaking, you know, helicopter spraying some shit in the air or I don't know. Or they have that something too? pumping out something in the atmosphere that's getting everyone COVID. Cause I've also heard stories of people not going out, period. And then they catch COVID. So what the fuck? How does that make sense? Yeah, you're stuck in the house. Like, how are you catching something that you in the how house? How did you possibly catch it if you haven't been around anyone? And then they had these, you know, they had these things. They said that um, if you have an AC generator, then it could come through there. So it's kind of like, no matter what you think about, think of everything they told you. You come through the air conditioner filter. You could still have your AC on. It could come through your house through central air. And, that was one way. Um, your dog could get it. You had to make sure your dog is protected. Make sure your dog is not outside. And, and if you do have your dog, make sure he's six feet away from you in the house. And all oh, this ridiculous shit. Like, there's so many different scenarios. Uh, what was the other scenario that I just heard? Uh, it was one scenario I just heard. Uh, let me think. It was it was something so bizarre. I think they said that the vaccine caused the bells. Bell's palsy, one side effect. Like, how does a vaccine have that type of side effect that I've never heard of any vaccine having that type of side effect? Right. Like, my thing. Vaccines will push your face up, though. Yeah, I don't want to do the vaccine for the fact that uh, I don't want anything to be deactivated or activated in my body. Like, you don't know chemically what is in that you know it can have a different purpose than what you think it's for and i think it's the way i'm thinking is safe thinking some people are like oh why are you so stupid why are you thinking so deep well it's my body you feel know I me mean? like just because y'all telling me i need like i need this shit doesn't mean i need it especially if i'm not sick i'm feeling okay i'm okay yeah, like, why would I take anything if I'm fine? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, That's and then crazy. you're basically giving yourself what you don't want. Because every vaccine contains the actual bacteria of whatever it's trying to cure. So it has that inside of it. And on top of that, uh, my, 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 my sister or my friend, I call her my sister. Her brother, we all had, we all eating breakfast. Her brother just came in from Puerto Rico. He's been in the States for like a week. He gets a call. We all, like I'm, I'm literally, we slept that night. I woke up, we all eating breakfast, sitting at the same table with this guy. We all chilling. It's me, him, it's her, it's him, two dogs, one daughter, her husband just went to work. All of us have been in the house with this guy. I have been in the house with him for 24 hours. They have been with him for about six days. She got a phone call saying he tested positive for COVID. Of course, so he brought it from me. Puerto Rico? That's what they say. But peep, peep this up. So you know the way me and her think, 
we're just taking the necessary precautions, like get you a mask, whatever. But we kind of like thinking, like, this is bullshit. Like, how the hell does he got COVID? He seems fine, right? He got no symptoms, not one symptom. All right, so she's taking the necessary precautions. He puts the mask on. She's saying that he has to go here, he has to go there. She don't want these people coming to her house because if they find out he's there, you don't want nobody coming to bother her. This that and that. So. I started thinking to myself, well, let me look at the calendar. <laughs> 14 days, right? And of course they of course they change it from 14, 10 to 7, but that's another thing. So I'm going by the old rule. 14 yeah. days. So I'm in town to handle business. This is when I was just coming to get my license to carry it in the state. So I had business to take care of. That's why I was in town and we was all kicking it. Anyway, so I leave there, I go to my girl's house in New York. Kicking the word, her kids. And I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure she got people or whatever work that work she does. I go back home, stepdad, sister, mom, etc. Everybody. Fourteen days have passed. I don't have not one symptom. But before the fourteen days came up, she said that he had took another test and it came out negative four days later. Yeah, so that, that should happen Elon Musk too. Did you hear about that? No, who was that? Elon Musk, the guy who created uh, SpaceX and he works for Tesla. What happened to him? He died? No, he didn't die. He had the same exact thing you just said. He he took the COVID test once. He, he came out positive. And then a minute later, he took two tests or four tests, actually. So he came out positive in one. He came out negative in one. And then basically he came out negative in two tests and came out positive in two tests within five minutes. Damn. He had one of the good tests, like an instant test, not one that takes like three days. He had like a high tech yeah. one. So and you say high tech one. one. A high tech one, like an instant. Uh, there's a word for it, but I forgot. Speed test, or I don't know, but it's instant. That's and then they do it through blood instead of saliva. I'm not sure, but but yeah, he pretty much tweeted that, and he's like, "Man, there's something fishy going on." Because he's a scientist slash, you know, inventor. So yeah, he knows what he's talking about. Like some, he's like some something is going on because they're doing tests, and it's just. It's not, it's not normal, bro. No, it's not. He, he, him saying that he's probably under, under a microscope at this point. Right. So I mean, right about that. Like, bro, you, you said some shit you shouldn't be saying, but you know, it's gotta be, it's gotta be something. Like, you're not gonna tell me this invincible ass bookie man is killing people. Like, and then you know, nobody died from the flu no more. Nobody's even catching the flu no more. Barely. Barely, like, yo, what the hell is going on? Then all of a sudden, like, we got this vaccine with before a year even came around. If you like, think about it, bro, how long has this shit been around? Because if you don't feel, uh, you know, if you don't feel symptoms, you could have had it already. Right. I remember. I feel like I had uh, it. I feel like I had yeah, it in, I, in January. I was sick. Yeah, I was. I was, I was gonna say. I was gonna say around January, February, I got sick, and I had this uh, randomly. I was at work, and I went to the restroom, and I came back to the office and sat down, and I was short of breath. And I'm like, why is my breath so short? So I'm like, shit. And then I noticed that it was after it rained. It was kind of misty outside a little bit. So I started thinking, damn, like, what the fuck? So, you know, around this time, I was like, oh, so what if it's this 5G shit? Because <laughs> I don't really know. It's, yeah, it a lot of people thought it was that, too. Yeah, which I, I still think that the radiation from this shit is a possibility. Like, yeah, if you got something activating you. Yeah, if you got that shit, if you got some, if you got a way where you could have cause radiation and cause some type of, you know, reaction in the body, then that's possible. Especially if you got something in the air, which I really believe is something in the air, something in the clouds, something like you said, 
spraying something in the cloud. I just think it's yeah, something like that we breathe. Chemical trail. Right. It could be something that we're breathing and the, uh, the immune system fights it or it doesn't. It's just that it's, 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 it's simple. That's why it's asymptomatic. Period. So I think that when, and then I noticed that I was driving home and I was like exhausted as shit. And I get home and I just got on the bed and I went to sleep in my work clothes. I was dead exhausted. But I slept from, because I got off at 7 a.m. I slept all the way to 2 o'clock. I got up and it made me some tea. I made some oatmeal. I went right back to sleep. I'm talking about literally, I didn't even eat that whole bowl. It wasn't that much. Ain't like about 75% of it. Drunk the tea. Drunk me some water. Went right back to sleep. I woke up at 10 o'clock. I felt better, but why did I sleep so fucking long, right? You might have had it. I, I probably had it, you know what I'm saying? But where did I get it from? Because, yeah, I'm a security officer. I'm an essential worker, but I'm not around nobody when I go to work. Right. Like, one guy leaves, I come in. You know what I'm saying? And around this time, we're not wearing masks. Like, they're not requiring it. It wasn't even mandatory, a mandatory thing or nothing. It was This was fresh information. So, I didn't go. I wasn't even around nobody, like, I didn't get it. It was kind of weird. But I felt better when I went to work that night. And then I got up and I was, then I started testing shit. Like, let me go walk this warehouse to see if I get short of breath. <laughs> then I started, and then now I'm getting paranoid and sniffing shit. Like, make sure I ain't losing my sense of smell or taste and shit. Because now it's like every, I ain't gonna lie, every day I get up, I think, okay, my smell, <laughs> sense of smell is good. Kind of uh, yeah, you gotta even make sure y'all you smell because you know it's a couple people. I, I couple people I heard like, well, I lost my sister's smell. My kid lost his sister's smell. I'm gonna take him to the doctor. Like, no, stop taking your kids to the doctor. Stop going to the doctor. If it's something that you don't really feel, or if it's if you're not on the edge of your fucking seat and you feel like you not really that sick, then don't go. Right. Like the way I felt. Like the way I felt. I wasn't going to no doctor. If I didn't feel better that night, I wasn't going to no doctor. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call in. You know, I ain't feeling good. Go to sleep. Sleep this shit off. Drink me some more water and we're going we gonna to thug it out. I'm not going to no doctor. Yeah, bro. My eight of my family members, have caught, they caught the COVID. And they all recovered, including my grandparents. That's crazy. How old are your grandparents? My grandpa, he's 85, and my grandma is 70. Yeah, have any symptoms? Um, bro, for a good like week and a half, I mean, they they were already positive. They knew we were positive, but they didn't feel anything. Wow. My grandpa, he you know he was sleeping a lot and you know feeling tired. But it, it wasn't like, yeah. you know, a death sentence. Like, they weren't, like, on their deathbed. Thank God. But it's not, I don't know, it, like, it, there's something to it. Why would they make it seem more, you know, worse than what it really is? It, it's just it the fact like... that, that it, different people are different people. But we, but we have eight, I have eight examples of different people and they all are fine. I think I think that eh, eh, I don't know, man. Like I, I I try to get away from the five G thing, but I can't get away from the idea of radiation to the body being some factor right. as a possibility. Based off the fact that if you see, you're not having any symptoms, but there's there's some way of some way of these tests finding out that you're positive. Is it really that deep? Like. Is something being act like are they activating something in the body with radiation? Is it possible that that's the case? Right. And then, and does it make you? Oh, does it make listen you to have this, bro. Symptoms? Listen to this. Um, the symptoms of radiation, you lose taste. Taste? Yep. Absolutely. I think that's why they came up with that in the first place. Because if you look up symptoms of radiation. They're similar. Vomiting, 
Disneyness. No taste. It's not like completely, you know, accurate, but I can see why people would come up with that. I tell people, man, fish, fish for the possibilities because these, these the mainstream media is lying. They're not even making, they can't even make up their mind if it's going to be 14 days that you need to quarantine, 10 or 7. They ain't short it to 7 now. Next thing you know, in three more months, it's going to be three days. Because there's a vaccine now, so well, I don't if you, think if you I don't test think positive, you don't got to stay home to too long. Because he was talking about, oh, this is going to be gone by April. It's going to be gone <laughs> by Easter. That's probably what they told him. Right. I don't know. That part kind of convinced me. Yeah, this dumbass don't got nothing to do with it. Because I was thinking, like, I'm glad I do security because... If I was in the medical field, I'd be fucking paranoid. Bro, I, I respect those people, man. That's that's really brave. That's bravery. I got a that's video on my YouTube channel with this girl. She said she was from Arkansas. And she volunteered to be a doctor in New York. And the way she was explaining this shit, it was very bizarre what COVID is doing to people. Making your, it, it, it makes your blood thick where it can't circulate through the body. Uh, this particular virus is attacking organs. Uh, it's shutting down livers. I would love kidneys. to know why people, some people aren't feeling anything and some people are like dying. Right. Like, what is it? Are they getting, you know, a bigger dose? Are some people getting little, like small dose of the COVID? Some people getting a lot of it. You know what I mean? Right. Because I've been in ICU before. About 13 years ago, I was had pneumonia. And I've been on a ventilator. I've been in ICU before. And I've been there. It's the same shit that people are talking about now. I've been there. So all I know is, is that I didn't realize how serious it was until I started getting better. And they was explaining to me about this is what we did. This is what they did. And this is why people were so bothered because they was thinking, damn, we got in the ICU on the ventilator. I'm like, yeah, can you imagine somebody call, call these people and say, uh, hold on, we got a message. Hey, what's up, sweetie? How you doing? This is uh, Fab in the building. Auntie one, auntie girl. Fab, what's good, what's good? But, uh, Imagine, you know, like somebody calling you and saying, hey, uh, your cousin or your, 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 your brother is, and I see you on a ventilator, like, and they're like, damn, he's gonna die. Like, that's typically what happens, right? <laughs> and yeah. I don't know no better. I'm just, I'm in this motherfucker, and I went to sleep in an emergency room, bed, in a emergency room, room, regular room, and then I woke up in a whole nother room, and I'm barely can see and shit, so. What I'm saying is, is that are they killing these people? Because when you put a person on the ventilator, you gotta put something in their body. Like, what are they? What are they really doing? Because I'm starting to get on some other shit. I'm starting to think these hospitals are killing people. Right, like slipping them something, or yeah, I'm starting to believe that. Or if they do have this particular problem with the disease or the, the virus, so to speak. What if it's something that they're doing to make it worse? Because I learned if you have pneumonia, for example, if you have walking pneumonia or full blown, right? You can't take cold medicine. It's gonna make it worse. I didn't know that. I'm taking cold medicine thinking that my pneumonia at the time was just a bad cold. Cause I don't have cold, so I don't I don't think nothing of it. Take right. a therapy, take a Z Z cam or Z cam. Now, I remember the Zycam, I took that shit one night and I went to sleep. And I woke up, went straight to the bathroom, and when I coughed, it was like a handful of fucking mucus and had blood in it. And I was like, what the fuck is this? So I didn't think nothing of it. I, I, you know, and I tried to like balance out my day, drink water, drink orange juice, some shit I shouldn't drink because I wasn't doing no better. I'm not supposed to drink anything with sugar. You had a cold. But anyway. The next day I did the same shit over and I took it, fell asleep, woke up, 
and I had this thing where you know how you go. When I would do that, it would be like it'd be like Ooh. it was that much. And this day it was real bad. And I felt myself coughing it up. And it was just like a it was just all in the sleep. And majority of it was blood. And I didn't get it. So I get in the, in the, in the couch and I put my head against the couch, uh, the couch and I barely could breathe. Mm-hmm. My cousin was like, you all right? I said, man, I can't breathe. So I'm like, <sighs> and I like, he's like, bro, you need to go to the hospital? I'm like, I'm like, man, do something. Man. I don't think I can, I don't think I can breathe. You know what I'm saying? So I started thinking about shit like that. Like, what are they doing to these people in the hospital? Are they making them worse? Or are they making them better? Yeah. And is it that short? And is it and are and I'm gonna get deeper than that. Are you handpicking the people that you feel like killing? Is it a certain pick of the number? Is it a certain name? Is it a certain age um, range in that particular hospital? What are you right, doing? Or maybe, you know, because there's a lot of doctors risking their lives out there that really want to help people. Maybe it's just the instructions they're given that, you know, isn't actually helping some people. But I'm not a doctor in that environment. So. Absolutely. Not, not. I feel you on that. I tell people all the time, man, like, yo, that don't mean we can't have um, free thinking and we can't think for ourselves and try to figure shit out because just because you're a doctor don't mean you don't have the right yeah, to try to figure not, out what's wrong with you. Do not always go with what people tell you always. Figure it out for yourself. And this is what we need to start telling people. We start telling people like, yo, you, you, you don't believe in the vaccine. You don't believe in everything they say about the damn virus, right? You can't. It's impossible to believe that these people are telling you it's simply from a cough. And then they're telling you we got mandatory masks. Why no mandatory gloves? Eye, uh, eye or goggles or eye protection. Matter of fact, we need to start covering up our entire body because if your skin is revealed, it can get through the skin. Let them tell it. They be killing me. I be seeing these people in the store. They be fixing my food, and I be like, "Yo, your nose is just, your nose is just stuck all over your mask." Like, come on, yo. Like, what, what are you doing? You, you supposed to be taking it more serious than me. You handling food? So it's crazy. What do you think about that, bro? Do you feel different about eating out places, or it's the same? In, in most cases, I have to like. If I weren't working so much, it would be different, but, and I choose to work as much as I'm working. Like, I'm working like 90 hours a week, so, so I'm trying to stay as busy as possible, but, yeah, I, I do eat out a lot. So, Me yeah, too, I, I, don't, I don't, I don't really, I'm not even really tripping. Like, when I see it, when I clearly know, like, I'll say something, I'll be like, hey, Shawty, should you be covering up your nose? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bro, I pay I attention to who's like, handing my food. The other day, I yeah. went to Taco Bell, bro. This girl with some dirty-ass gloves, man, was trying to grab my money. I didn't say anything. I just pulled off. <laughs> <laughs> she had the dirty gloves, then trying to get she you. She had some dirty-ass <laughs> gloves. Like, you could tell she had them shits on for hours. Grabbing yeah. the money. Yeah, that's crazy. I used to so snap like I used to, I used to snap people like tell you, yo, like they I hate they hate lazy motherfuckers. Like you take the gloves off and then you put them down and then you try to put them back on. I said, look here, oh, man, don't do that. Throw that away. Throw them away. That defeats them the purpose. Yeah, like motherfuckers is lazy. They don't want to get the new gloves because you gotta make a ten foot, 20, 10, 15, 20 foot steps. Like, get your ass over there, get some more gloves, yo. We got, like, yeah, like thousands of them. You good? You can have them shits on all day. Yeah, we got thousands of them. Just put a new pair on, yo. <laughs> so it's crazy. You got to try to keep the same glove. Like, yo, stop that. Like, that's unsanitary, yo. Once, we like the right person. The pandemic shit. has given me this perspective on germs that I've never had. Like, I never thought of it this way. It probably is like that for a lot of people too. 
Oh yeah. Like I started thinking of it in a like a micro way, like how there's very small organ like organisms everywhere. I never thought of it that way. Like, as far as like hand sanitizer and just touching something can get you sick. Yeah. I started, I started, uh, I ain't gonna lie, I started having my silverware on my dish tray, and now I just take it and be like, let me put a little soap in this. <laughs> but it used to just be like, it used to be where you just run the faucet, and you, if you already wash the dishes, right? Like, just run the faucet, and you'd be like, you gotta really bring that shit closer and look, and be like, uh, oh. put a little, a little tiny little drop of soap in that. I don't know, Bro, when so the COVID clean, first just... came out, man, when I would go to a store, I would hold my breath and I would get these like little anxiety attacks. It was really stressful at first for me. Yeah, the, the shit does. It did pump in. Like you wonder, like it felt like what's it was gonna happen. World. Oh yeah. And like just going yeah. to public felt like I was going to war. Yeah, you are. If that's what they, that, that's how they want you to make them believe. And then you know they didn't want to give the essential workers a certain amount of money. Like I felt like, damn, I'm going to work every day. My job is required for me to work regardless. Right? Messed up. They weren't thinking about nobody, but just to, to just to I feel like the people in the medical out field there risking their lives in these hospitals need to be paid or given an award or some shit. I mean, because they're heroes. Oh, yeah. You remember when it first kicked off? People started asking, do you know somebody that got it? No, I don't know nobody that got it. Do you know somebody that got it? For the first, like, freaking seven, eight months, however long it's been, I didn't until my family got it. I was one of those people that, like, man, that shit's fake. And then they got it. And then I was like, damn, so it is real. It'll be killing me. I still got that video. It's a girl who's like, I tested positive for COVID. I'll be like, really? Like, yo, you, 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 you need to cough that shit up. The whole live sheet. And it's just, she didn't even cough it up or nothing. Just, you can hear it in her chest. Uh, like, you just circulating the cold. Like, it's nasty, yo. Like, you do know, like, every, like, the mother of all disease. Mucus, yeah. That's where it all starts. Exactly. So, you best bet is drink hot fluids and fucking kill that shit. Get it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. And once it, and once your lungs get that type of that, like infectious fluid, that's why I tell people, man, I'm taking a cold medicine. You need some antibiotics, or you need to just get natural herbs, whatever you want to do, but. Don't take, don't take these flu, these night quills, because that shit is only going to make it grow. That's all that right. shit does. Something Those that does medicines. help that's in that realm of medicine for me is mucinex. Yeah, mucinex is cool too. That shit works like great for me. But I agree like night quill and all that, it just makes it like thicker. Or at least it feels like it. Exactly. So yeah, man, I just uh, I ain't gonna lie, just shit need to get back to normal, man. Cause I'm over to Massachusetts in February, man, and I don't need nobody getting in my way. I don't need this bullshit going on. I want to go back to the movies. <laughs> Bro, wanna, it feels wanna, like it's I wanna, been I wanna years. years. <laughs> I've been to the movies. Yeah. I want to travel. I want to go out. I want to go overseas. I want to do shit. You know what I mean? I want to. I want everything to get back to normal. I mean, you know things aren't going to be normal, but I know what you mean by normal. Like, no fucking, fucking madness, wearing masks, and all this crazy shit. I agree. But yeah, I, I want to take my mask off. Go me. back to what they were before this. <laughs> nah, it will. As, you know, just the mindset. 
And I got a bad feeling when they do that. Come up with some twenty. <laughs> yeah, come up with some other shit. Be what would you be way. if they're like breaking news? COVID twenty. It's emerged <laughs> from the vaccine. <laughs> I'll be like, man, I give up, man. Fuck it. Sources man. say the vaccine made the COVID stronger. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's gonna be hilarious and shit. I don't, I, I don't like, I don't like they doing voice. this shit to elderly people. Though. They be saying the worst shit in that little news reporter voice. COVID vaccine, but get that shit to old people, man. Shit is crazy, man. You gonna kill these old people off, man? I think that's and I'm constantly, and I'm constantly hearing hear people die and shit. Like, I'm constantly like, hearing people die virus, today. Like, go to. I mean, some young people have died from it too, but why does it go to like old people? You feel me? I guess they feel like since they about trying to, to check get out rid of anyway. the old generations. You know what I said? I said I guess since they about to check out anyway. This is good. It's good. Take care of that. It's fucked up, but that's how it is, man. They don't give a fuck, man. Don't. I'm trying to trick think they give a fuck. I appreciate the discussion, man, for the road, but before I get out of here, man, uh, we, uh, the thing about this vow, not vaccine, but uh, the voting system, because I'm pretty sure you agree with me on this. If nobody believed that voting is bullshit now, you better believe it today. Because I watched Trump get robbed, even with 10 more million votes than he got last term. And I watched Joe, they want us to believe that Joe Biden got record numbers in overall votes. More than Obama. More than Obama and Hillary. Combined. At least five states Trump was leading at 96%. And out of nowhere, thousands of ballots all Shit tonight. just switched up, yeah. I agree. There's some weird because, you know, they would literally do anything to get that man out of office. So. <laughs> they would do any fucking thing. So, so when, he said the, when he said he won it, he did. They just ripped them off. They came in with these ballots and we got it on tape. You know, a lot of people are against Trump, so they don't... Anything he says is just a wall, or they just try to make a joke out of it. But, you know, he's a comedian. I I think he's funny as fuck, really. He fine fuck with Trump. Trump Trump that nigga, man. (laughs) I don't care what nobody's saying. Trump's funny as shit. Trump is that nigga, man. I was was crying after that debate. With him and Biden, that shit was literally a roast. <laughs> he said your sons will crack. <laughs> Don't you talk about my son? <laughs> <laughs> and then we got, and then we got him on tape. He really is a crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> get sleepy, get Joe. Put, does get, not deserve to win. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, those well, some real shit though. The people, I don't care if you Democrat, if you don't really if you look at this shit like Trump, get Trump out of here. I'll be looking at this shit. If y'all looking at the evidence that you say ain't evidence, and you just say, well, fuck you, he just a sore loser. I said that sounds just like the New Orleans Saints get ripped off in the NFC Championship when they no goddamn well at call. Is the reason why the Rams won Super Bowl won that NFC Championship and got to the Super Bowl that year. It's the Rams fans do not give a fuck about the call going against the other team as long as they won. But what happens is, well, Biden, they said Biden won. We don't care if he cheated. Man, a lot of people don't even know why the fuck they voted for him. They just wanted Trump out. Right. They if you don't blow for me, you ain't black. Biden's morals and fucking, what is his agenda? They just want Trump out. That was a lot of people. For me, you ain't black. I'm like, why are you voting for Biden? They're like, hey, I'll, I'll do anything to get Trump out. I'm like, what? <laughs> crazy. It's a, 
Same old cliche shit. You both for Obama, yeah, because he black. <laughs> yeah, that's literally how he won. Huh? Because I'm black. Okay, so Biden, why you vote with him? I just want Trump out. Right, Crazy. he can even be the fucking Antichrist, but since it's to get Trump out, it's, it's the right thing to do. Yeah. And you know, uh, you know what I like about it is that he'll be back in four more years. The next four years Bro, will be fucking man. AI. I feel like that is the vibe. Like, I think that's just... That's probably was his goal. I mean, not yeah, really four more years to that. stay, but that's fucking wild that four years can pass or something, God forbid, happen to Trump. I mean, uh, Biden, and then he's just president again, Trump. Oh, yeah. But and I think that would be like, Camilla Harris president. Yeah, Kamala, Camilla. Kamala, yeah. Yeah, Harris said Willa Brown. Her. I don't know how that works. She's, like, because I know when kings or queen, like, if a king dies, the queen becomes king, but it's probably not the same concept. Nah, uh, it's the same concept, yeah. Oh, it is? It's just, it's just that the queen here ain't really a queen. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> if she's a woman, I'll let her be president. Like, we don't care. I don't get it. Why they pick an old ass man that seems like he's always tired and doesn't know what he's talking about? <laughs> and then the vice president, the complete opposite, basically like a female Obama. He ain't even half black. She's <laughs> 25% black. And she's 50% Indian. And 25%. I want to say she's 25% one, Caucasian. One thing I can say, though, bro, that energy when, you know, Biden won the election, supposedly, every it's like the whole world felt, like, happy. Like, it was a celebration. Mm-hmm. You didn't peep that in your state? Yeah, I peeped it. They celebrated and shit. Yeah, that shit. Running around, right around, around in the stores. Have you heard the good news? I'd be like, what? Jesus coming back? <laughs> <laughs> they like, <laughs> got that old truck out. I was like, really? That's good news? I just feel like y'all, they focus on the wrong thing. Yeah. This is crazy, man. Because, I mean, it does make a difference who's president, but at the end of the day, only you can make you happy. And exactly. the people around you, your family and shit. That's what it ultimately comes down to, man. That's what it all comes down to. Your family or you, you know, not someone fucking you never met that lives in a White House. Right. Because one thing about it, man, you can't be sitting up there calling Trump a racist and you ain't gonna call, call Biden one. Yeah, bro, this he fucking said, said you nigger. don't vote for me, you're not black. Yeah. I found that old clip. Like we would have three months worth of fucking news reports on that. Oh, yeah. But there's clips out there of Biden saying, like, niggas. Yeah, saying all Y'all already got a nigger man. We don't need any more nigger big shots. <laughs> he says this shit yeah. don't say, and now one person said, you know what? Yeah, I ain't both. That's, that what, that's my point, that they want Biden, I mean, Trump out so much that they don't care. It's crazy. And he's responsible for the crime deal. And Kamala over here telling you, uh, she's listening to Tupac in college and Tupac, what are you rapping yet? Oh, we don't she, care. Wait, what about Tupac? She said she said she listened to Tupac when she was in college. But he wasn't out. When she was in college. Tupac when well, Tupac didn't start rapping until like ninety one. Let's say 92, 91 or 92. He was on Digital yeah. Underground. Same song. When did I they come out? I was with them early, like early 90s, late 80s, 89, 90. Same song, Digital Underground. It had to be 91, 92. Same song. 90, 1990. And she was in college six, seven years before that. <laughs> Five years, baby. She uh, lied. She lied. That like, absolutely. <laughs> she could have said, "Chaos is what we believe." Rock him. 
G Rap Kane, just all these legendary rappers from the 80s. Hello, cool. You could have said anything. You said Tupac. Yeah, I know, because every black person loves Tupac. The like, what better name? Time. He ain't the greatest. He's dope. He's nice. Yeah, I mean, he's one of the greatest. <laughs> one of the greatest. I've got the give greatest that. is Michael Jackson. I think Prince is dope. Prince? Yeah. Yeah, I think Prince is Prince. Michael yeah, Michael's a better artist. Prince is a better musician. I was saying that earlier today. Yeah, because I heard they had like smoke, like they were like com- competitors back then. Yeah, they didn't really work together or nothing, but they didn't beef. They would have been you know, great, great, you know, great collab. Let you know men were different back then. Like we we, we we don't really have to work with each other like each other, but we're not gonna fight. Like you never seen Buster Rhymes and Jay Z have no beef, but they never just come on together. Right. <laughs> they didn't have to different. die young. Like a lot of artists nowadays dying young. Yeah. Well, you know, we can't really say because they're not dying of natural causes either. So nowhere near like, natural. Yeah, like, it's got to be something involved, like like that juice well dudes. Oh shit. Yeah, man. Yeah, he, RP. He yeah, I, I like Juice. Juice World was fans. like Juice World was like one of these rappers that people would criticize, but you would have to listen to what he talked about. He literally is a lot of young guys out here if you listen to what he said. Yeah, I'm one of those people, bro. I look, like I, I ain't gonna lie to you, I've never listened to Juice World until he died. And I would like just find myself just sitting there thinking like, man, this dude really, this is like painful lyrics. You know what I'm he's a kid, bro. He's a kid. He's not a man yet. Yeah, he's a kid. Yeah. He wasn't a man yet. He was a kid. I'm still considered right. a kid in my eyes. Like, I'm 25. Like, I see 30 as right. young as fuck. I'm 25. Like, and, that, and that's why I meant what I said, like, Having a kid in this era is not a good idea unless you know for sure. Mentally, unless you know if you if it, you gotta be really mature because number one, you gotta make sure you have it with the right person. I think the worst the worst mistake I did was I was young, but I was mature. But I was also young fucking with somebody who wasn't. And I thought Janice yeah, was it's not really a, a bad idea. And it's not something that I plan to do, but I didn't talk her out of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just was like, yeah. okay. You know what I'm saying? You're pregnant, uh, all right. And we broke up when she was three and a half months pregnant. I feel like you know that I mean? happens more than planned. Like kids, you know, come kind of, you know, unexpected rather than planned. Exactly. Absolutely. It's understandable, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like the majority of people don't plan on having a kid. Like, they they do plan on having it, but you you get what I'm saying, right? Like, they weren't like, oh, let's have sex and have a kid. It just, you know, happened. Just happened. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got to actually go do some work, man. I've been sitting around, man. I really like this discussion, man. Me too. Real cool, man. I, I follow you too, fam. So, uh, you got a YouTube channel, somewhere? Yeah, I have, a, like I, that? I have an Instagram too. Um, I have a YouTube channel, but nothing on there is um, like updated. Yeah. I gotta start making videos again and shit. But uh, you, you don't got an Instagram or nothing? Yeah, same name you see, Hugger Pacino. Follow me on IG. And, uh, you I'll follow you follow me, bro? Yeah, I'll follow you back. Follow me now if you Just... can. All right, I got you. No, for sure. Um, I could follow you back next week because right now I'm blocked from following. Yeah. Yeah, if I'm girl. I'm girl. Damn, I'm... Damn she fine as shit. Who is this? She <laughs> probably who. She got to be. Yeah, yeah. GG Broadway. Oh, I remember her. Yeah, she deal with rap battles and shit. I didn't speak to her on here, but yeah, I did. I'm sorry, I did. I didn't talk to her, but 
she was talking to somebody else, I think. Oh, yeah, had it too, bro. Yeah, Gigi, G-I-G-I underscore Broadway. Tell us that yeah. she's fine. Too. I remember, yeah, she, uh, and she deal with rap battles and shit. I remember her from yesterday. All right, homie, um, if anything, hit me up on Instagram or some shit if you want to, like, talk Yeah, yeah, what's you. your uh, IG page? Same name I got on here. Okay. CC. Letter U. I see. Crazy. It popped right up. Did me did it follow you? <laughs> yeah, All so right, you know about the beef sector. Good there. night, bro. I see. You know about the beef sector, huh? Oh, so you a part of that community, too? I ain't in the community. I watched them, though. I ain't in it, though. I see Demi oh. probably. That's how I knew. Because I didn't even I didn't even know that existed until, like, a couple days ago when they joined Stereo. Yeah, yeah, they just joined Stereo. Uh, you know who Tommy Sotomayor is? Who? You know who Tommy Sotomayor is? No, sir. Yeah, look him up. He'll be on there in a minute. He, uh... A lot of people don't like him, but he, he, he my dog, he cool with me. But he, he just heard about Stereo today. I'm trying to talk him into coming over here and tear this yeah, shit bro, up. Yeah, bro, invite <laughs> all the homies. Yeah, I'm trying to get all the guys I know, but mainly him, because he, I think the, the biggest name over here, obviously, would be like Five Bay, which is Demi, you know, Demi don't fuck with her no more. They used to be best friends. Oh, I was talking to Demi today. Our live was pretty lit. Yeah, Demi cool as shit. Yeah, she cool people. I always had a crush. Yeah, Demi, Demi, Demi's pretty as hell. I didn't expect it because I looked at her Instagram like expecting like, I don't know, just like what I normally see on here. Then I went on her Instagram. I was like, oh shit, you're actually really pretty. What's a lot? There's a lot of pretty girls in the deep, deep stuff. I would I would say their name, but I don't know if they might hear this. Like, how you talking about how pretty is? <laughs> you think I'm pretty though? Yeah, of course I do. I run, I run a couple names. Uh, Brit, Bro, Keys. Could, before we cut this off, could you tell me what is this D sector, C sector? What is it? Oh, okay. So this it's pretty. Is it? It's pretty simple. Okay, so this this is what it is. That the community. It's a lot of these communities on YouTube are based off of a particular group or subject topic and next thing you know these youtube channels have these drama based arguments amongst each other they become personal and the next thing you know channels are birthed like let's just say me and you are youtube personalities and let's just say uh there's a discussion about biggie versus pop right so mm -hmm. me and you start beefing about Biggie versus Pac. I like Pac, you like Biggie, but then I want to talk about where you live at. I want to talk about your kids. And you want to talk about my kid and where I live at. And that next thing you know, I want to whoop your ass. I want to dox your family members. And then next thing you know, my supporters, your supporters, they, a few here and there, a couple people here and there become YouTube channel holders. They diss each other. Next thing you know, those particular people birth a different group of people because they start doing videos and then they start building a support system. So it's all next thing you know drama? It's all created through drama, pretty much. Like there's like different groups, like you got five babes, you got her babe nation, and you got over here, you got this group of people who fuck with uh Pattyville, and then you got this group of people who fuck with goddess, which is a good friend of mine. I fuck with Goddess. I fuck with her, DL, DM, uh, Madam, a few other people like Brittany Keys. Uh, you see a few of these people on here. Uh, if you go to my list, you see the people I follow, you, you'll run across a couple of these names. But long story short, the beef sector is basically just that. Everybody's beefing with each other based on. You're saying beef? Beef sector beef. or beef B sector? Yeah, B E E F. Hold on one second. Hey, Huggy Pacino, CC, you crazy? You still up here? You still up? Just stopping by. I'm bored. I can't sleep. So anyway, I'm clapping it up for you guys. What's going on, Proud Lama? She, she's also in the beef sector as well. 
Yeah, uh, probably glam I'm on this, man. Um, I should be off this shit sleeping, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I got four more hours at work, so but I'm gonna get off here period and I gotta go do some work. But yes, the beef set is basically a group of people, different size, don't really get along. Some of them probably will never get along, obviously. And it's it's a lot about it's a lot about ego. Some people don't have them, some people do. Um I choose to not get in the middle. So I don't I don't have any I don't have a dog to pick in this fight. But I do support who I support, and I support a good small handful of people that I choose to put them. Um, it's just that simple on my end. I'm not in it. So, you know, nobody can say, hey, how you be beefing with, like, nah, you know what I mean? On some truthful shit, you know, they don't want me to get involved. <laughs> so I don't get involved, you know what I'm saying? That's probably the best bet. Because I heard they be oh. freaking trying to cancel people and shit. Yeah, doxing people like I, it ain't nothing you could do doxing me like everybody know my real name can't pull up my no background. I never heard that term until today. Like, what does that mean? Oh, like if somebody find like right now, I just see CCU crazy. But if and I find out your like, government name, and, yeah, like, yeah, I find out your government name, and yeah, I get your government name, I get your age, I find out where you used to work, I find out where you live, how many kids you got. Like, let's just say you lied about having six kids and you really do got six kids. And then we find out you, you know what I'm saying, you, you, you're you a sex offender. Some crazy shit like that. I'm just hypothetical right. saying shit. What if all the shit is you and you didn't want the public to know? That's doxing. Anything that's not public information that could deem to be harmful to you or anybody around you. Like when I, for when I was on YouTube all these years, nobody knew my government name. Now, people knew me, knew my government name, but the public didn't know my government name. But this one chick that I was talking to for a few weeks, years ago, put my government name out back in 2017. So I didn't give a fuck. I was like, I don't got nothing to hide. So I opened my Facebook page and my IG page back up. And it is what it is. Now, there's nothing you can find on me. Like, you know, I think the worst thing that happened to me is I got fired from my job. That's it. People called my baby, my mom's daycare. Uh, got me proud of my job. Called my mom's daycare. Uh, what else? Somebody, uh, one of the YouTubers called my baby mother's job. Not job, so I called her from Facebook. Called her. Uh, of course, she making up these lies about me having her to use, but that's weird because, like, why would you tell people this shit? And then she went as far as to say, I gave it to some chicks. Did she know who those chicks are? Did she got the paperwork, but never showed nobody this shit. This is well almost two years ago. To this day, of course. And then when none of that shit really worked, she sends me a message trying to be a co-parent again. Like, nah. Ever since 2018 of October, I ain't spoke to her on no ever plan on speaking to her again. And that's just 10% of my problem with her. You know what I'm saying? She had my car burnt up. All type of crazy shit she's done to me. Damn, but, bro. And I was hearing some shit um, from the other girl you, you was talking about. The pretty girl? Mm-hmm. Oh, Demi? Demi, Demi. Yeah, she was giving me a little bit background on them, too. I was like, damn, this is sound like a cult. Oh, yeah. You know, Demi was... Uh, the five baby girl, Demi was best, like that. Her mom was best friends with five. Like Demi did her hair and everything. Like they knew each other personally in Chicago. That's how deep that goes. Like most of like everybody else just knows her via YouTube. Nobody knows that these people. Nobody knows her better than Demi and her, her mom Tracy. They know her personally. So it's way deeper than just YouTube. Just like it was kind of like I had a fallout with a couple friends that. Had, that knew me personally, like long knew me 16 years ago. The other girl was friends with me for nine years. I cut them off too. So I know what that's like. The problem with that is, is that you don't want me to bring your business to you too, because you ain't shit, not me. <laughs> you, you the snake, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? So nah, as long as they don't get to that point, we good. As long as they don't fuck with me, I won't fuck with them. And the only thing that's really keeping me from even bringing anything up is the fact that I didn't want them exposing who I'm dating, so they know that. You know, I have to keep this shit private. Like, what I'm learning also is that 
when you're a social media figure, so to speak, you have to keep your life private. Like, if you don't want nobody knowing what you do for a living, don't let them know where you work. You don't want them to know where you live at, don't tell nobody. You don't want to know who you fucking get dating or if you got a wife or if you got multiple wives, don't tell them. You know, you have to live, you have to live on a, you have to move quietly. Like, I'll tell people I'm moving, but you don't know exactly why I'm moving. You don't know what I plan on doing in 2021, 22, or 23. Like, I'm moving to Massachusetts. I could be on my way to Toronto three fucking months after that. You went up. Got another Hi, call off CC there. Sauce, you crazy. And, um, CC Saucy. Pacquiano, I, I have a question. I mean, I'm hearing a little bit about this. I'm so lost. I'm not really sure what's happening. I mean, I'm hearing a little bit, but like, when did this start? Like, is this two years old, three years old? And do people just type in beef se sector? Is this like, I don't know. Is it like, did it start off like, you know, maybe roasting each other or hiking? I, I can't get I past the Pacquiano. Maybe it's just me. I don't know if I should understand, but I'm just hearing this word keep floating around this community and I'm just trying to understand why is it okay? Like, obviously, it's not okay to dox people, but why does it get that far? And is this just a part of the new culture that I don't understand? Nah, I'm on the same, um, I'm on the same boat as you. Um, I don't really know much about it either. I got another message. Hold on. Yeah, no, yeah, another message. my message. name fake ponytail. <laughs> Try to fucking talk shit yesterday and tell me about, like, how people... <laughs> get docs and shit and that shit's <laughs> fucking foul bruh foul cause they do come on to ask you questions and shit it's scary <laughs> What's another I message? apologize oh. I just like battered and just butchered both of your names I apologize I'll get it right the next time she said see saucy <laughs> see, yeah, I mean, that shit was funny. She fucked your name worse than mine because yours is so. She butchered my shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so look, I would I would recommend you all if you really want to get somebody to tell you all of this shit a hundred percent. I I will give you a few names: Rick Reed, Goddess Four. I think it's God is for. I don't want to make up a lot. Give me a second. Uh, yes, God is dot four. Brianna Simone. Deanna dot six. Just to name a few. Follow those people. Ask them because. I don't want to give y'all the unofficial breakdown because I could be wrong, uh, and I don't—I definitely don't want to step on nobody's toes because I support who I support, and I don't want to be on here talking about some people that I don't really rock with because I don't want to yeah, get in the middle of oh, oh huggy talking shit. Either. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Oh, I got another message. Read right the on. heart of Philadelphia wrote the book called Beef of the Dollars. Remember Huggy Pacino? She just changed oh, all yeah. the people, all the players' name for the big sector. But she did write, write a book, and it's on Amazon, called Beefing for Dollars. She know all the history of the beef sector. Her name is Rita Hart of Philadelphia. On here, it's Reed, it's Reed Bitch, I think. But yeah, the reason Reed, I brought it up... Hold on, we got, we got one more message. Hold on, we got one more message. Hold on. Hey, Huggy, you friends with Fake Ponytail. Like, what you know, like, you and Fake Ponytail, cool and shit, y'all be kicking it. <laughs> I, I, the first person I spoke to on here was Fake Ponytail. She she was cool as shit. We wrapped it up about a good talk, about an hour. She seemed cool to me. Um, I don't know what she did to you, but she's cool with me. Yeah, I've never spoke to her before. Read the Heart of Philadelphia is another one. I don't know where she is on here, but yeah, Read the Heart of Philadelphia on YouTube is another person. What you were saying before that message came in? Hey, shout yes, out to 11 listeners, man. It's fucking 4 o'clock where I'm Who? at. 
I don't really, I just, I don't, this is my first time really getting into this. How many people are watching? We have 11. Vonda. Uh, anybody I know? Uh, don't know none of these people. Sure. Not like you that. Guys know I know Proud Glam, but one Proud Glam, follow her too, if y'all can. I some people that'll tell y'all, I just don't want to be like hugging on her, talking shit about this section and this part of it. I don't want to, I don't want to this and I don't want no smoke. I don't want to be in the middle of You don't shit. want to be caught in the mix, I feel you. I can have, I can give you a private discussion, but I can't do this publicly because people gonna hear this shit. Yeah. But I'm I'm very familiar with. I'm I mean, very it, familiar it is with. what it is. I was just curious because last week I didn't hear that name at all, and then out of nowhere. I, 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 this is how bizarre it is. This is how bizarre it is, bro. A, a motherfucker, a motherfucker died and came back. <laughs> 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 That's how crazy this shit is. Motherfuckers die on YouTube and then they come back like they never did pretend to die. I know that That's sounds crazy, shit. right? Yeah, I know. That, that, that happened like trolling though. Shit. On April Fool's Day, bro. That's weird, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I put this on my mama and her mama. I, that's, that really happened last year. It was April the 1st, the day after Nipsey died. April the first is oh here we go. Hold on. Well <laughs> CC you crazy had got a taste of the B sector because he was on here talking with Demi and they all came over here like flooding, cussing us out. They were saying all kind of crazy stuff to him just because he was sitting up here talking to Demi did it, which I think it'll make no sense anyway. But anyway, wow. so many people are petty. I just hate that they take yeah, it too far. It was all blood and no shit. I just like when they keep it to the roast and the gag and the drag. But all the other extra curricular extra activities they be doing, not cool at all. Yeah. I do know why, though. It's because um, me and Demi put the title. It was like a troll title. It was saying Lady P called? and it's me, QB. Oh, shit. This track. Oh, shit. Oh shit! That's, you did that. Yeah. <laughs> and then a bunch of those. People I'm looking at your profile. Oh, so you got a lot of followers. Nah. Here. Huh? Oh, uh, you got you got a lot of followers too. I see that. Yeah, type shit. Oh, you and Demi, y'all just had a few conversations. I see. Yeah, we plan. We plan on teaming up. So get some. Shit yeah, they don't like that shit. They don't like this shit. They like to do it Damn on belly with the perm. <laughs> <laughs> Chewing the banana, you know, I don't like that shit. <laughs> but I, Thank so you. what's your name, bro? Huggy? Uh, Huggy Pacino. Huggy Pacino. All right, bro, nice to meet yeah. you, man. I'm going to fucking go to sleep. Yeah, yeah, man. Hit me up anytime, man. You will rap again, man. I'm going to be on here a lot more. Uh in the next few days, man. So I'll see you around for sure, man. You have a good night. You too, brother. How right, you too, man? Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to receive all notifications from Huggy Pacino. In the description box, you can find all 10 channels. HP Media 1 and 2 are the two new channels. You can also subscribe to my dog Julio and Huggy Pacino 1 through 6. And there's also a Huggy Pacino Effect throwback channel. And you can also contact me via email and phone. And if you would love to donate to the channel, here's where you could donate. Cash App and PayPal. The link's on the screen. Donations. 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 Gifts. Gifts. Uh huh. Pacino certified. 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 certified.